and welcome. For a change, I'm able to kick off this session with some good news, upbeat news, uh, in the fact that the oil and gas company AWE have aborted their plans to frack the Drover One well, which is just south of Greenhead. This is very welcome news, although uh, we're certainly not out of the woods uh, in this ongoing uh, battle to keep the proven eco side, the eco terrorism of fracking out of our region and eventually have it banned worldwide, which is what needs to happen. Over the overarching problem we're faced is criminality from our governments. This is very easily proven by the fact that governments are private corporations registered in Washington DC. This is all verifiable fact and they impose uh, an illegal national debt. In other words, it's a Ponzi scheme. I have stated on many occasions in the past that the national debt is comprised of interest over from borrowings from private banks. This need not happen. Government is the only institution that is mandated, constitutionally authorised to print and distribute currency at no interest to the nation. So what I'm urging as many people to do as possible is hold our so-called representatives who are only representing these criminal corporations hold them to account by writing to them or telephoning contacting them in any way you deem appropriate and ask them to show cause why they should not face charges of abuse of public office a very serious offence through not investigating this known, proven, demonstrable fraud, which is what it is. Furthermore, they can be asked to show cause why they are not taking actions on the proven genocide, attempted genocide of chemtrails. Why is there no action on the front of suppressed cancer cures and why is there no action on lifting the restrictions and suppressions on free energy propulsion technologies and if that weren't enough demand investigations into the rampant child abuse and the pedophilia which is being covered up at high level it's not being reported by mainstream media I'm surprised it's there but it needs to be yesterday I did an audio interview with Amanda Prosser a very courageous lady who is driving an inquiry at great personal expense the same as anyone who tries to bring this into the open but she's having great success, so the audio interview is available on my channel. For the moment, this will do this uh, session. But I do urge people, instead of wringing their hands and wondering what they can or can't do, simply contact your elected representative, your MP, and ask them the above all of the above. But primarily, the question that must be addressed is the one of the fraud of national debt. There is no need for this fraud. The whole banking system is an utter, unmitigated fraud. It must be done away with. Thank you for your time.